कल्चर हैज नेवर बीन डिवॉइड ऑफ रैशनैलिटी बट आर सुपरस्टिशन कमिंग इन द वे ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड अप्रिशिएटिंग द रैशनैल बिहाइंड कल्चर एक्सप्लोर कल्चर थ्रू द लेंस ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स एंड रीजनिंग इन अ ब्रांड न्यू सीरीज कॉल्ड मैथ इन कल्चर इन इंडियन कल्चर टेम्पल्स आर रिलीजियस प्लेस ऑफ वर्शिप many ancient temples in india are known for their architectural prowess and are breathtakingly beautiful there weren't just a place for chants and prayers one can also call them functional built for certain scientific purposes this unesco world heritage site located in the state of orissa india is a shining example of the same a temple that can measure time accurately to this very date what's more peculiar and yet fascinating is that it measures time in an anti clockwise fashion contrary to all modern clocks hi i am nilakanta bhanu prakash the world's fastest human calculator and i'll be unveiling an intriguing piece of architecture in the famous konark sun temple i've heard a lot about this beautiful temple from my friends who have visited it multiple times but the fact that it is also an ancient clock piqued my interest even more keep watching till the end to find out how it works The Konark temple was built by King Narasimha Deva the 1st in the 13th century CE as an ode to Surya Deva the sun god. Konark is a portmanteau of Kona meaning corner and Arka meaning the sun. And so the temple is aptly named. The overall structure of the temple resembles a mammoth chariot riding on 24 wheels each about 9 feet and 9 inches in diameter. And the fascinating part is that two of these 24 wheels can still tell time. Here's the Konark wheel at the east side of the temple. Notice that it has eight major spokes and eight minor spokes. This wheel represents a clock with a 24-hour cycle, and the major spokes divide this wheel into eight sections or prahars. Here, each prahar represents three hours. The minor spokes divide each prahar in exactly half. So each subdivision of a prahar, demarcated by one minor, is about 1.5 hours. or 90 minutes on the inner periphery of the wheel we can find multiple beads corresponding to each subdivision there are 60 beads in each prahar and every bead represents 3 minutes every bead is so large that it can further be divided into three parts where each part represents 1 minute based on where the shadow falls on the bead it's possible to calculate the exact time to the minute now that was all about the setup of our quirky clock the time telling however is the interesting bit notice that the middle of the wheel has a small cavity to measure time people used to place an object in the cavity and take note of the bead where the object's shadow falls on the shadow serve the same purpose as the hands of the clock and the beads as the divisions of the clock together informing people what time it was however there's a small difference between our clocks and the one in konark the wheels work in an anti clockwise fashion and the topmost major spoke points to 12 so keep that in mind if you plan to visit the place and measure time now remember there are two wheels one on the east side and one in the west one wheel isn't enough unlike most sundials that lie on a flat surface the konark wheels are fixed to the sides of the temple and so they pose an unusual challenge at noon the sun will be directly above the wheel on the east side and not cast any shadow on it as the evening approaches the sun moves to the west and shines no light on the east side of the temple that's when the wheel in the west would get illuminated and function as a sundial this is why we need two wheels the wheel in the east works as a sundial only till afternoon and the one in the west from afternoon to sunset so as long as the sun is shining these two sundials will tell time perfectly even though they were built centuries ago since the clocks essentially rely on sunshine to tell time they won't work at night so they are not completely equivalent to our modern 24 hour clocks Can you imagine the work put in by astronomers, engineers, sculptors and mathematicians 750 years ago to make this work? Without phones technology, Google they were able to accomplish a tremendous feat. That's why the Konark wheel finds itself on the 10 rupee Indian currency note. So the next time you feel religious places are just for prayers, rituals and hymns, Remember the Konark Sun Temple. There is a theory that the rest of the wheels in the Konark Temple are actually moon dials that can be used to measure time in the night. What do you think? Is that true? If so, how would that work? Drop in the comments and we'll pin the best explanation. 
Want to discover how culture and rationality are intertwined with mathematics? Follow our channel for more such interesting stories. Want to develop cognitive skills and improve rational thinking through mathematics? Book a demo class with Bhanzu and start your journey in becoming 4x faster and better at math.